Hey guys, my name is William Jones and in today's video we're going to go over how to add a Google My Business user. That's right, how to add a Google My Business user. This is one of the most commonplace questions I get from business owners. So one of the things you don't want to do, and I do see a lot of businesses that will actually ask for this underhandedly, it's not a very good tactic either, is you'll have some unscrupulous web designers or SEOs that will say, hey, I just need your username and password for your Google My Business listing. Worst thing ever to do. And why is it the worst thing ever to do? Is because they can actually give themselves ownership or change ownership of your GMB. And what does that mean for you? If they do that, now they own your GMB. And if you ever leave them as a client, they hijack your GMB and you're really just fucked. Okay? So we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to give them access or an SEO company or someone working with you through the correct way. Say, Bill, what's the correct way? So we're going to open up a Google My Business listing and we're just going to go to Google My Business, right? And we go in here and hit sign in. It's one of the most common questions I get. Let's say we go to your listing and we go to users this is going to show me who's the owner, who's the manager, how many managers, whatever, right? If I was an owner of this listing, I could give someone access. Let me show you another one. Cancel. Done. I want to go back here. Let's go to just right fortress on this one, just for an example. We go to users, and I simply hit add user, and I type in someone's email address it can be willy wonka the chocolate factory or whatever and this is my manager and i hit choose role always 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 just give them manager rights never ownership rights you give someone ownership rights they can hijack and take over your gmb and what that means is they could literally go into the back end of this gmb and delete you from being the owner of it and take it over. One of the most worst things to do, one of the most unscrupulous things that a lot of SEOs will even do, and I've seen happen time and time again, and then trust me, Google is not going to help you get it back. Most of the time, Google's basically going to say, you have to take it up in court, bro. And trust me, it's a long, drawn-out process, and you're not going to get nowhere. So... How do we add someone? We go over here to the left-hand corner of our listing, hit users, hit add user, type in their email address, give them the role of manager, and then you're sent invite. They'll get an email that will say you've been invited, and I'll even show you one because I probably already have one in my email address right here. You've been invited to handle this GMB, right? We get these all the time. Once again, my name is William Jones, and in today's video, we covered how to add a Google My Business user. That's right, how to add a Google My Business user. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, and make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications if ever. And if you really want to show us some love, make sure to share this video across your social media channels. And you have a great day, and be blessed.